Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to take bomb ass selfies. Not just how to take selfies, I'm also gonna show you how to edit your selfies to make them look just perfect. The point of editing your selfie is not to make yourself look like somebody else. It's just to correct some of those camera errors and you know really get the details out and of course you can tweak whatever you want guys. You can tweak whatever you want on a selfie editing app. By the way as always all the makeup details of this particular look will be listed on my Instagram page so do not forget to check me out there. <laughs> so let's get started with how to take a fabulous selfie. One question that I get asked a lot is which camera do you use to take a selfie? Most of the time guys I use my phone, I have an iPhone 6s, I've put it to charge, it's not the latest one but I don't like to unnecessarily update my gadgets and purchase and buy and those kind of things. My phone is working great, it's performing well, I'm happy so I'm sticking to it. But if you have a newer edition of phone which I, I'm, I'm assuming most people would have, <laughs> you'd get even better quality of pictures but sometimes when I really want to up the quality of my pictures and bring out the details of my makeup uh, I use my Canon G7X point-and-shoot camera this is also what I use for my travel videos the second thing that you need to keep in mind is you need to make sure that you are in the center of the screen of your phone now what happens in a digital camera is now if this is the screen right like if your face is somewhere on the edge of the screen while taking a picture the phone is gonna stretch your face so your phone forehead is gonna look way too large if you're like in the top corner so when you are focusing yourself right in the middle of the camera you're gonna get the most realistic version of you in the picture also the way you tilt your camera is also gonna maneuver the way you look tip number three is to find your angle this might sound a little silly a little vain you gotta do your homework, right? You stand in front of the mirror and you really analyze yourself. You see which side of your face you like better. Do you like your right side better? Some people look better with the phone held a little higher. Some people actually look really nice when the phone is held lower. You need to play with angles and figure out what is the angle that works for you. And sometimes when you play with your hair, when you pump it up a little bit, the whole picture changes. And that leads me to tip number four that is accessories. When you have a little bit of accessories guys, your picture is just gonna look fabulous. Tip number five, the most important tip guys, it's the light. You need the right light to take great selfies. Now you cannot be going and standing straight out direct in the sunlight. What happens is it's way too harsh. You're going to be squinting and there's way too much shadow on your face. You're blown out. It's just white. You can't see your face. What you need is diffused light. And where do you get diffused light naturally? In the shade. So if you are out and about, go and stand in a shadow. When you're at home, you can use studio lights like a lot of YouTubers do. I'm going to show you my studio lights just in a second. Or you can stand bang in front of a large window. Now a window acts as a diffuser. So it's going to diffuse that harsh sunlight and beautifully light your face evenly without casting harsh shadows. That's what's going to make all your eyeshadow colors pop, your lipstick pop, your skin pop, your highlighter pop. You need a large window and everybody has a window in their house, girl. Now let me switch this video into my phone and let's actually see a couple of examples. Alrighty guys, so here is my large window. Loki is taking a nice little nap. Now let me show you what this does to my face. Now, when I stand way too close to the window, see what's happening, that harsh sunlight is on my face. I'm not able to open my eyes and there's shadows. It's not fun. So I'm gonna back up a little bit and boom, this is the money light. You can even play with the light, move over to the side of a window, maybe get a streak of light on your face, kind of see what works for you aesthetically and also make sure that your background is not messy like that, okay? You need to make sure that you have a nice clean background so that the focus is on your face, not that pair of pants just lying around on the floor. <laughs> yeah. What is it, Scuggly Bear? What do you want? Mama's busy. Now, if you have studio lights, this is my very humble studio setup. I have a diffuser. So what I do is turn it to my face and voila. Obviously, adjust my hair, take away all of the flyaways. And you see, if you put your face in the edge, you see how large my forehead is looking right there? And you see how small I look right now? And I'm going to take a couple of selfies. And, and I'm going to push my hair right here just to... Mm, mm, okay. Okay. 
and like that we've got our selfie but it's not always that we have the optimum lighting and the optimum settings so we need a little bit of editing to really make that selfie pop so i use this app called b612 to really tune my face and i'm going to show you how i do it right so i'm going to turn on the app and i'm going to pull up a picture from all those pictures that we took right now the color is not as bright and vibrant the photo looks a little dull to me the quality also because we use the front camera is not as sharp you can see here there are a bunch of stickers you can make it really cute with those cat stickers and whatnot there is also an option for you to put filter and this makes it so easy you don't have to sit and edit and color correct and all that but i like a little bit more control in my editing personally it's you can do whatever you want so i like to go into adjust now here first we have brightness we can bump up the brightness or reduce the brightness as much as we want and i'm actually going to reduce the brightness because do you see how the color of my skin is showing the eyeshadow is showing as you reduce the brightness now for every picture it's going to be different so you play with all of these uh, features and see what's going to work for that particular picture next i'm going to go to contrast and let's see let's bump it up just a little bit and then we're going to go into saturation saturation is the amount of color in your picture so i'm gonna go a little do you see the difference do you see if i do all the way up it's really saturated we don't need that probably uh 12 is good for saturation here we have the option to sharpen the picture this makes it look like the picture is a little bit more higher quality but take care of this because if i sharpen it too much do you see what i look like i look like an old lady guys and and, and we don't need that much sharpness so maybe like a two or a three or i'm gonna stop at four that's enough next option is highlights highlights is playing with the lighter part of the pictures so i'm gonna bump it up just a bit and when it comes to shadow i like to increase the shadows a little bit as well because it brings out more details in my hair some people like a faded effect on their photo so you can play with that to see what you like green green gives a magazine like effect to your picture and i like to give a little bit of green a bit of green to my picture a little bit warmth is how yellow your picture is over here i feel like the warmth is just perfect i don't have to really do much to it so i'm gonna leave it at zero or you know what let's let's take it up a little bit then we have tint which is again playing with the color of the picture i like the color of the picture so i'm gonna leave it at zero and vignette finally is if you want a darkened border for the picture and i am gonna keep that at zero and tick we've got it if you press on this right hand corner little button you can see before and after do you see how we've got a little bit more detail already in the picture next we have this option called liquify liquify is a tool that you can use just like in photoshop if you want to move around any specific part of your picture so you see the difference it made with just me plumping up the hair <laughs> it's just so voluminous you know i mean editing right awesome so let's move on to the next feature that's the beauty feature the first option we have is skin and how much we can smooth the skin okay let me tell you guys some people just overdo it <laughs> don't overdo it make it still like realistic all the way up there looks like a 90s photo booth photo okay that, that's just it's just not fun so i'm gonna uh, take it up to say let's go till 20 very real you can still see my skin and my pores and all that but you see the difference there mm. you have all these features where you can slim your face in various different ways you guys you can slim your face from the side i'm gonna keep my face the same way you can sculpt your face a little bit more look at my jaw where is where is my jaw you can reduce the length of your chin do you see that same with this filter you can increase or decrease the length of your chin so many options damn the cheekbones you can intensify your cheekbones take it in or not we have something for the forehead increase decrease look at that what wrinkles let's see oh my gosh do you see that my skin just became smoother oh 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 
we can brighten it up a little bit if you want let's take it to five. Oh, you can play with the size of your eyes and large or not pupil make it big bi make it gigantic clarity now this really brings that sparkle in your eyes guys look at that look at my eye right now let's keep a little sparkle in my eye <laughs> look at that you can move around your eyes this app is something else guys you can play with the length of your eyes you can tilt your eyes what what look look <laughs> You can thicken your eyebrows or make it thinner. Give yourself a little bit more space in this part if you need. You can narrow your nose or widen your nose. So many mouth lip um, features. And if you are having a wide smile kind of a picture, you can even whiten your teeth with this whitening little tool. There we have the before and after with so far. And as you can see with me, I like to keep it very subtle, but you see there is a difference. You see that? They also have a makeup tool where you can apply lipstick See, I'm playing with lipstick and you can even change your eye color and whatnot. You can add eyebrows, you can add eyeshadow, um, eyeliner, eyelashes, blush. There we have edge two and take it down all the way to say, let's go to 10. And finally, we have the portrait option, which will not be very clear over here. That is to actually filter out and blur out your background, which is a really cool tool as well. So this is what this app B612 can do. Now you just save it and you post it on your Instagram. So I'll be posting a picture that I took today on my Instagram. I hope you head on over to my Instagram page and give it a like and let me know that you came from YouTube fam. You know what? Let's put a bunch of yellow heart emojis under my Instagram photo. I know where you came from. Also, you can download this app B612 on your app store. It's a free app. It's a really cool app. Go ahead and download it. I leave all the links down in the description bar as well. And I shall see you on my Instagram. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video, guys. I love you.